I am Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today talking about repairs that you may need to make to your home. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thank you so much for watching. Today I thought I would share a few thoughts about a common question that I get asked from people is, should I buy a fixer upper and do it myself? Or should I buy something that's already fixed up? Now, obviously that question is very personal depending upon the person, the individual, what resources they have and all of those factors. And if that's a question you're asking yourself, obviously we can help walk you through that. Some thoughts that I wanted to share though with that thought is, is what the cost differences are. So one thing that I look at is what is the budget? So let's say for example, you were gonna purchase a home and you could qualify for a $900,000 property, but you were open to a fixer at 800,000 as well. Now really, the out-of-pocket costs are pretty some, relatively small in comparison. It's only about $20,000 difference, going from $180,000 for a $900,000 purchase to 160 with an $800,000 purchase. That $20,000 is a huge difference in terms of what you can buy for that property. But as relatively speaking, that $20,000 is relatively small compared to what you might need to upgrade. For example, if a roof needs to be replaced or flooring or carpeting or a kitchen needs to be remodeled, that right there can make up the difference in that $20,000 just by themselves. A roof generally can cost anywhere from seven to $15,000 alone, not including any other upgrades or repairs that you may wanna to do to the home. So when we are looking at those costs, that's something we wanna take into account. <clears throat> now, the other thing is thinking about how long things will last ultimately. It, in this area, obviously a lot of the homes are older and they are going to need repairs and replacements down the line. Things may be working just fine right now, but if you take into account that they will need to be replaced at some point, that may factor into your budget considerations as to whether you should spend a little bit more to get something that's a better quality or spend a little less and save that money to be able to do those repairs over time. So for example, a roof is gonna last 20 to 30 years unless it's slate, copper, clay, or concrete tiles. Those can last 50 years. Flooring, obviously we see carpet is generally quickly replaced and that can only last eight to 10 years. Linoleum 25, vinyl can last 50 years. And of course, wood, marble, slate, and granite can last much, much longer, up to 100 years or more. Decks, if you have a deck, those can last 20 years before they need to be replaced if they're maintained properly. So of course, homes do need maintenance. A furnace can last 15 to 18 years. Now, obviously we've seen some that have lasted much longer as air conditioners as well, uh, but you wanna plan to budget those over time. A stove even, a range, can last 13 to 15 years. And a lot of people don't think about that until they go out. Fridges, dishwashers, a lot of those appliances are gonna last anywhere from nine to 12 years. So again, you wanna budget for those repairs. Plumbing leaks, uh, sewer lines, all those kinds of things are things that you wanna think about as you're going into this budgeting process for the home and what makes sense for you. Obviously, we can help you with looking at all of this big picture and see what makes sense for you. And if you know somebody who is thinking about making that move, please feel free to forward and share this with them and we'd be happy to help them. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 562-316-2915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thank you so much for watching.